is Tom Merritt of Tech News Today. I'm going to do a little video that shows you what I do to prepare for the show. Everybody's asleep, so I got to whisper. The first thing I do every day is I grab my tablet and start looking at the feeds. I use Feedly for my RSS reader. So I'm going to take about 20 minutes or so just look through the tech news and I'm gonna look for stuff that either like catches my eye or interests me or is just being covered by so many people it's like well we got to pay attention to that I'm gonna do that now and then I'll check back Turn on mixer. Everything there is on. And fire up. Old computer. Old computer. There we go. All right. So what I do. Actually, take Feedly out again. Look at the stuff that's happened. Now it's 621. Look at the stuff that's happened. See if there's anything else interesting in there. Hmm. Why is Mystique naked in the new X Men? Well, that'll have to wait for later. And then. I'm going to go through, I'm going to open all of these into tabs. Now, it's Friday, so I actually don't have as many tabs as I might normally. Uh, Friday usually tends to be a little bit slower. Then I'm going to look at Google News. And what I'm going to do with Google News is I'm going to go through, I'm going to order up the tabs based on the order of Google News. This tells me what's buzzy, what people are writing about. Uh, I'm also going to be opening up any stories here that I didn't catch in the RSS feed, and there's always a bunch. This is my safety net. This is... These are the stories that definitely are getting written about by people out there. Um, Apple testing six-inch iPhone model. There's always an iPhone story every day. And Apple faces... Well, and this is the thing you got to do with Google News, right? Six-inch iPhone model is leading, but is that really the story? Or is it the China Telecom offers peak of new phones? It's kind of all over the place. So NSA able, NSA able to foil basic safeguards of privacy on the web. I had that somewhere. Alright, so what I just did, these are the tabs for the stories in order, the way they were on Google News, that we hadn't already covered. There's a bunch of stuff in there we covered yesterday, and skip that stuff. These are the stories I still found interesting, but aren't on Google News yet. So the next round is to go to goodoldtechmeme.com and do this all over again and reorder. So NSA foils much internet encryption. I had that second. See, now I can put that Apple story second behind that. And I'm just going to go through here the same way. LG Nexus 5 with LTE, my probable appearance. Uh, yeah, there it is. Just reorder these stories. And probably add some new ones, too. 
Now sometimes, by the time I'm done with this, I'll have a really nice, beefy, like 10 or 12 stories to choose from in order. And the ones that were mentioned highly on both Tech Meme and Google News are over to the left. Today it's Friday, so I got five. Five stories that are mentioned on both, and otherwise it's just a rat pack. But either way, no matter what kind of day it is, my last stop in this ordering, besides my own judgment, is the Tech News Today Reddit at technewstoday.reddit.com. Which is going to load here any second. And I'm going to look at how hot ranking is ranking them, but also mostly that number right there. How many votes did they get? Uh, NSA bans t-shirt with anti-NSA message. 105 votes. Now, we got 18,000 readers. 105 votes isn't a lot. So th this is, i got to weigh this carefully. But 105 votes is a lot for this. So that's maybe a randomizer or maybe a real story. But I'm going to go through and do the same thing I just did with Google News and Tech Meme. Change this order again. All right. <clears throat> so now I've ordered those up. I've put a couple in there that I just think, man, eh, these probably are important. This is just a first draft. I'm not going to take those. And move them from there into the news views, and we have this little for consideration, uh, and make a rough draft of the order of the news views, just so Ayaz and Sarah can see what is up. And they're up right now, doing their own things. They uh, you know, may not, they're researching stories. Uh, doesn't look like either one of them are in the dock yet, but that's normal. They usually don't pop into the dock until they're ready to do their discussion stories. But I'm not going to show you this whole thing because it's tedious. You get the idea. <laughs> Cutting and pasting. And it goes a lot faster if I don't. Oh, here's something that I'm doing while I actually do this other thing of gathering the stories. I'll look for things with dates. So we got a date here. Note 3 arriving alongside Galaxy Gear October 1st and 2nd for $299. I'm going to go pop into the Tech News Today calendar and doop. now I've added it to the calendar so on October 1st we re are reminded that that's going to happen and then I'm going to be a good feller and pop that into the calendar section for Sarah. She'll find it anyway, she always does if I miss this stuff, but you know, I'm here. Oh and look, Ayaz has chosen a story for discussion Chrome. Oh, he's going to do the Chrome Apps thing. Cool. Nice. Uh, and so that's going to be my next thing, is to choose discussion story. And another thing that I need to do while I'm making these news views line up is put stuff in the randomizer. So I usually slide those tabs to the end of my lineup. And then I do the same thing. I just cut and paste them over into the randomizer. Now, I don't make the straw pull yet, because I'm still going to be looking at stories all morning long. There may be other stuff go in there. I may pull some of these out. But this is the first draft. Facebook flavored ice cream is a real thing. But is Facebook flavor a real thing? No. No one can tell you what Facebook tastes like. Except maybe okay, so I have a nice rough draft of the news views. Now I'm going to go back to Feedly and find out that, oh no, the news didn't stop. Uh, and so I got to look at what got posted while I was actually putting together the lineup. And then I'm going to pick my discussion story. Shh. Don't tell tech news today, but sometimes I find a frame rate story while I'm in there, and then I go and I throw it into frame rate real quick, because, you know, it saves me time later, but don't tell anyone, okay? All right, Thanks. so time to pick discussion stories, so I gotta put my notepad over there. The other side, and uh, like, good, uh, so yeah, Ayaz has taken the Trojan horse. Uh, so I was gonna look and see what those guys have taken yet. I'm I got we gotta do this NSA story. I don't mind doing those stories. So I'm gonna start with that one. This is basically what I'm gonna be working on the bulk of the morning is my two dis stories, just researching them, reading them. I already snagged along with this New York Times story this Bruce Schneier article that I'm gonna read for background. And then I'm going to read this New York Times story as well. And that'll probably lead me to a bunch of other stuff. You know, if you look in here, they've got, well, that's just an essay link. But they usually are very good about linking out to other stories that I may want to read for background as well. And I'll just be making up some notes. I'm probably going to do that one first. Nothing else really jumped out at me, except maybe that Elon Musk building lab tech. But it says Iron Man in it. 
I know Ayaz has a weakness for Iron Man, so I'll, I'll wait and see if he grabs that one first before I decide for sure. Maybe I could do... I don't know. It's Friday, man. Poor Len. We're gonna... We got slim pickings. Friday and first week of September. After a big news week. Okay, one of those days. Those are just some of my notes. Uh, and then, of course, I need to put them in the dock, but when I go back and I check on Feedly, which I need to just keep doing, I'm mo mostly looking for, did something break? Uh, looks like the judge laying down Apple's punishment in the ebooks case uh, has broken, so I'm going to open that up and pop that in the news fuse consideration for now. I won't be getting to redoing that news fuse draft until another 40 minutes. But also, uh, two stories are in the feeds that bear on the NSA story, one from Ars Technica, and another one from Hacker News disagreed with Bruce Schneier, so I'm going to have to review those, too. These are some deep, 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 deep stories, but I still need to pick my other story. But I'm going to have to read these first and finish up those notes. Okay, I think I've got a somewhat of a handle. I usually don't write that many notes, but this is a complex topic. Plus, very happy, I, I shot an email to Steve Gibson, so he's going to join us to help explain all this NSA stuff, because uh, these topics are always so complicated, and it's really important to get them right, so we can have a fair and intelligent discussion about them. Uh, meanwhile, in the doc, looks like Ayaz has taken the uh, Xbox One TV ad, uh, which is cool, and he's still got the Chrome Apps thing. So, you know what, I think I'm going to take this PayPal story. Uh, Redesign PayPal app wants you to order ahead and skip the lines. The idea, I, I think, just from scanning it, is that you use your PayPal app to pay for your purchase, and then you can just walk out of the store and show your receipt, kind of like what Apple does uh, with their Apple app. So, uh, hopefully that'll be a little easier to wrap my head around. Uh, and so i got to write notes for that one now. Okay, so I changed my mind. I, I read into that PayPal story, and... It seemed very similar to a Square story we'd done. So it still stays in the news fuse, obviously. But this is the beauty of having the news fuse first, is I don't feel like I have to cover it because it's big news or getting buzz. And I just didn't take the Iron Man story. So I totally took that, uh, looked at the video, pulled out a clip for Jason to be able to, uh, to use as some B-roll, made some notes about that. Quick notes here. We're just going to talk about, like, hey... You know, the idea of making these 3D projections, 3D projections with, the kind of with your hands that you're familiar with pretty darn cool. So that, that's going to be a nice story, uh, pretty easy to set up. And now that I've got that done, I uh, actually went and I found the, the, the uh, Twitter feed, too, where Musk and John Favreau were talking about, are you going to make an Iron Man lab? He's like, yep. So, so that, that's, that's a great story. I now need to go back into the news views. And do that whole dance over again, because it's been more than an hour. In fact, I should probably check Feedly and see if, yeah, more stuff. Uh, Got to go through here and see if anything... Ooh, Star Wars Episode 7. I'm just going to mark that for myself to read. My, That's probably nothing new, but just in case, I'll take a look at that. All right, so that, that all looks good. Now, what I'm going to do is the same thing that I did earlier this morning. I'm going to start with Google News. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to reorder. It's a little faster. I don't have to cut and paste so much. Uh, they're still talking about Galaxy Gear over here. That We're going to skip that. We talked about that a lot yesterday. We do that, we do that sometimes. We're like, hey, we already covered that. Uh, NSA is first. That story I found earlier about the judge, that's now high up. So I'm going to move that up in there. And, and that's essentially what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through and just reorder stuff and finalize a lineup. Then just doing the same thing with TechMeme. Just reordering some stuff. And check it against subreddit. And this is an interesting case, actually. So the Elon Musk thing that I'm doing in discussion has 50 notes on subreddit. But it actually isn't getting much buzz on TechMeme or Google News. That's... A, total example of how our subreddit is going to affect the lineup, because I'm definitely going to talk about it in discussion anyway, but I'm going to pull that thing up right under the ones that are getting lots of buzz, and then I'm going to look, artificial muscles lift 80 times their weight, oh, that's a randomizer consideration, uh, okay. yeah, we've got all those, got the Bezos thing, What's the Bezos thing in? 88 votes, oh yeah. So that's going to be... 
that's definitely going to change that. Anything else getting lots of votes? 30, PayPal. Oh, maybe that's old. All right. And so then I go in here, and this is how I let Ayaz and Sarah know that it's safe to start writing these. Now, we're not done. We're going to keep an eye on all of the breaking news as it happens over the next two hours before the show. But within two hours, especially in the world of tech, you're safe enough that you can go ahead and start writing your stuff. And sometimes we don't change anything. Usually we change one or two stories. So one of us will have to rewrite something, most likely. But this way we can kind of get ahead of it, start doing those news news stories. And this is one of those days where we have four randomizers. It's going to be a big pull. Also, you can see Sarah has gotten in and put in one of her discussion stories. I mean, you guys may think, like, there are such slackers. They haven't been in there. They're working outside of the dock a lot. Uh, you don't want to work in the dock. You notice that I didn't even work in the dock all that much. Uh, because, oh, and I forgot to put my notes in there. Better do that before I'm forgetting it. Because the dock may crash, and you don't want to lose your stuff. Uh, so all this tells me is when they've really decided, like, oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to do that story. Uh, so she's take, she's actually taking on Android iOS market share. There's two conflicting stories out there. I wondered if somebody was going to grab that one. She hasn't grabbed her other one yet. Oh, I didn't put my initials in there. All right. So, yeah, so now I'm going to probably take a shower before I start writing my news views because it's... 8 a.m. Can you barely, can you barely see that? It's so fuzzy. Here, focus. Uh, you probably don't need to see this. Oh, hey, are you still doing that boring thing, or uh, can you go play or something? Yeah, I'm ready to stretch it. Oh, you got 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 it. Okay, now I'm refreshed and presentable for a camera. So. Time to write some news views. Time check. 809. News views time. I, I just write it now. Just, I don't know how interesting this is, but there I wrote my first news views. And I paste it in. And I'll add a little bit, a little bit, but that gives me the basic thing that I'll read during the show. On to the next one. Move me a link. Woo. So now we've got an hour and a half until showtime. It's, uh, it's time for just keeping up, catching up. Checking the feeds. Uh, since the last time I checked Feedly, we got 37 new articles that I'm going to have to page through, see if anything is breaking in there that I want to add to the news views, and whether I'm going to have to rip up one of my own <laughs> stories or, or somebody else's. I also want to take this time uh, to maybe do some, some extra digging around on my stories and definitely read the ones that Sarah and I has, have decided to choose. For instance, Sarah chose that PayPal story I was reading earlier, so she must have found an angle that'll work for her. I'm going to keep an eye on her notes and I read this story. I'm going to read that Chrome app story. I read it a little bit for the news views, but I really want to wrap my head around it, try it out some more, uh, and take a, I haven't had a chance to look at this Xbox ad yet, so I want to take a look at that. Got to make the straw poll for the randomizer, uh, and once IS put some incoming in there, take a look at that. So that's what I'm going to work on for the next half hour or so, just kind of reacquaint myself with the okay, news. Okay, so here's an example of when the news just doesn't cooperate. Uh, All Things D and TechCrunch both jumped on this Maxthon story. It seems to be about a browser being put preloaded on the chips that Maxthon makes for Android phones. I think that's pretty interesting. I don't know if it's got buzz or not, but to me, it's the kind of thing that, that peppers the soup. That's a horrible way of putting it, but you know what? It's something that, that maybe we need to have in there for a few people and might be interesting to more. So this is where the personal effect comes in. I'm actually going to drop my own uh, Elon Musk story because we are going to talk about it in discussion and it's low down in the lineup and I'll rewrite and put this Maxthon story in right now. Okay then. So, uh, wow. I was really actually impressed by some of these stories. Ayaz has a great take on the Xbox game. 
Sarah's got an amazing way to synthesize these two stories that I would have run away screaming from earlier. Remember I said, I don't know how she's going to put those two together. Well, she's figured out a way to like tie them into the China market and future of Apple. I think it's really interesting. Uh, she also did that, that PayPal thing. She's got a good angle on that. Will we see developers start developing for Chrome? Oh, no, wait, that's the wrong one. All right, where'd it go? Hey, Google Docs can be kind of weird sometimes. Oh, yeah, there we go. Paying for the app. It's different than the Square thing than I thought of. So, anyway... Straw poll time, because I need to go sit down at the desk and start getting settled into the set. So I've taken the randomizers that I collected. I, I lost the drones one for the uh, quantum cryptography thing. And I've got them in the uh, straw poll over here. So time to create the poll. There's the link. And then I'll put that into the lineup for Jason. I don't make it any... I just put straw poll, so... And uh, I'll click over to results. I'm always just curious if somebody's going to hack it. It's not that hard to figure out, like, what that number is up there, and then just start voting. But anyway, now I've got most of this stuff done, so it's time for me to go sit down at the big old desk, put on the jacket, launch Skype, start getting settled in. So I'll give you a quick tour here. Uh, that's the mixing board level and my mic and I've got Wirecast and the dock right in front of me there's the camera over there and then I've got a second laptop and this is where I run chat and I can also uh, check out browser stuff on there this is also as you can see plugged in to this icicle and it's my backup audio line I got a little splitter here so this one's going to the mixer and into the Mac Mini down there, and the iSickle here is going into the laptop, which reminds me I should launch Skype on that second account. But I also, this is uh, anybody who's in the chat room in the morning who knows that I usually come in around 9 a.m., this is what I'm doing. I am joining the chat room in Colloquy on Twit Live. Getting ready for Beatmaster and Gray 580 to virtually give me my coffee. Did that work? Maybe I didn't type it right. There we go. They're so quick sometimes, too. So pull that straw pull link out of the dock. Straw pull time. Usually I have two hands to do that. Hi, Virgil. And I like to just talk with the chat room, kind of get a sense of what's going on there. Also, something I usually do before now in a separate browser, I will pull up, not Lynn Peralta, I will pull up live.twit.tv. I usually just got it. So I can start hearing uh, what's going on. Looks like they're redoing, replaying know-how right now. And then uh, I'll hear, oh yeah, I'm here, so they're being quiet. I will hear when, uh, when Jason comes on the stream and then I'll know that I'm ready. In fact, I should probably launch Skype so he can call me. Uh, and quit audio. The other thing I want to do with Skype ah, is test to make sure that, oh yeah, camera looks good, levels look good. Hello, hello, hello. There we go. Ah yes, Rubikit has delivered coffee as Bartman. Bartman has waved hello. And Gray 580 has slid me my Cuban coffee. So I should probably uh, start chatting in the chat room. And uh, the other thing I'll do is I'll go into the Google Doc and I'll write a little Twitter tease up here, looking at stuff. I'll look over any emails. I has got the e yeah, I has got the emails in there now. So I'll take a take a look at them and just kind of clean up the doc. I almost forgot, I need to do the week ahead because it's Friday. There's always something, like Wednesday it's a morning stream, Monday I do a KFWB radio spot, 
Friday. I got to do the week ahead. So I look at this uh, Tech Meme upcoming tech events, and then I look at our Tech News Today calendar, and I make sure that everything is there. I've already done that before I, I, I showed you this. And then I switch this to agenda. Yes, agenda, not no agenda. And then I get this little clud beat. Okay, I need to fix that. <laughs> I'll fix that spelling in a second. But uh, I, then I get this little rundown that I can use when I do the week ahead before the show starts. Hi, chat room. What's up? Still checking feeds. Nothing crazy breaking yet. It's been a fairly slow morning. Not untypical. AT&T dropped the price of the 1020, but I don't think that really merits getting anything out of the lineup that's in there. Roland Emmerich is going to reboot Stargate, though. That's something for frame rate. i mark that for later. And then I, uh, I wrote my little tease thingy here. And uh, now it's probably just going to uh, keep an eye on the feeds, do a little more research on that NSA story, because TechMeme had a lot more stuff to read there, and chat with the chat room. And uh, Sawyer decided to come down, get ready for the show. So, ready, Sawyer? Good? All right. So glad I've got Steve on the show today. So, so I like glad. to do this a lot, close to showtime. Just ask people in the chat room, like, what are you interested in hearing about? What questions should I ask? Always makes things better. So you remember that blank doc that I was working in this morning? Look at it now. Come on, folks in. 9.35, Jason has come on the stream. And he's giving me a call. And that is how you do a show, Jason Howell. You don't you don't realize this, but I've been I've been filming myself all morning. You know I, I can't hear anything because I forgot I forgot to plug in my. One important thing to do is plug in yourself. Okay, now I can hear you. Hello. Yeah, I recorded all the things I do for prep. That's why I'm holding my iPhone up awkwardly because I don't have Google Glass like some people. So uh, I'm going to say goodbye now to this little documentary. I hope you all enjoyed it. And please keep watching Tech News Today at twit.tv slash TNT. Bye. Look, I'm going to wave to myself over Skype back to myself from Petaluma. It's crazy.